one plus one is two, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, glad you agree. So easy boss fight plus easy boss fight equals probably an easy boss fight, right? Wrong. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. No, 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 no. Would you like to see a grown man have a mental breakdown on screen? Oh, you would? Well, good person, you have come to the right place. Never mind the actual boss fight, what we had to go through to even get there was something else entirely. Welcome to a another episode of Dino the Dino Slayer's Adventures. All you gotta do now is sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. Oh. The last episode was one of a severe juxtaposition for me. We beat the Megapithecus quite easily, I might add. Thank you very much. However, it didn't drop the trophy and it didn't drop, drop any of the elements. Now, because it didn't drop the trophy, as far as I know, I need to double check, but you need the trophies in order to get into the tech cave to beat the, 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 the final boss. So I'm basically now my hands are tied because of the jank of the game. I still don't understand why the trophy didn't drop on the Mega Megapithecus, but I'm going to have to go and do it again. Now, that isn't necessarily the biggest problem. We know, now let's not rest on our laurels, you know, we know that we can do it. Let's not get cocky. Let's not get overconfident. The biggest problem is, is I need to get the artifacts again. Three different caves that we need to go to. One of them is this one here, which is artifact of the pack. Not too bad. I can't remember for the life of me what this one was, but we need to go and do that one. The one which is the problem is the out of the brute is in that fucking cave. If we really try and look on the bright side of life, the squid <laughs> is on that cave, not that one. So I told myself, well, we want to do the third boss, the dragon, which I don't know where the obelisk, obelisk is. But again, don't want to rest on my laurels. I want to make sure that I am in the best possible position to take that on. So I thought, well, I'm going to do some cave runs anyway to see if we can get some good loot because I would really love some good pants. I've only got these or something like that. So I thought, well, why don't I go through and get the artifacts for the caves that we need while also getting the loot? Kill two birds with one stone, okay? So that's literally what we are going to do right now. Collect artifacts for the Megapithecus while looting for the dragon. You cannot tell me I am not an elite arc player now. However, a note to point out. This video was recorded before the Broodmother episode went out live on the channel. Therefore, at this point, I didn't know that the rewards for the bosses spawned as a supply drop at this starting area. But we will learn that in due course. For now though, our attention was wishing for some good loot and killing everything that moved in the caves. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, there's a cave here. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, this is the artifact of the pack, I believe. Let's not be cocky here. Let's not be cocky. Let me just clear some space. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. We just need the artifact. I think this is the packed one. I've got no ambient noise. It's like the cave hasn't loaded. There we go. That sounded big, whatever that was. I hear a supply drop. So the most ideal thing that we want right now is like good pants. There's nothing in here. Watch out for the roofs though. Okay. Okay. Give me the good stuff. Shit. I don't want Apache saddle. I'm not, I'm going to say, I don't even want them. I don't even want them. Oh. Save the game. Oh. Is the artifact here? I don't hear it. Oh no, I hear it. I thought so. <laughs> We're fine. Bat. There's like no enemies. 
Oh, we don't want to drop. Was there a supply drop in the water in one of these? Or am I tripping? I think there was at some point. Success. Shit, it's nighttime. Right, okay. Now we, we are taking a trip down memory lane to the site in which our dear Ryan perished. We're going on over to Carnivore Island and uh, we're going to hit up um, the Cave of the Devourer. Carnivore Island. The site where we lost our dear friend Ryan. It had been an age since we had been here, so I was rather looking forward to returning to the cave, given that we were now vastly better in terms of gear, ability, and knowledge. We did, however, get distracted by spotting the red spear of light, indicating that there was juicy loot to be had. The supply drops can be a little bit like rainbows sometimes. Yes, there might be a pot of gold at the end of them, but I swear they get further away the more you run to them. This one ended up being far into the snowy biome. Luckily, we did have some armor with us, so while we weren't exactly warm, we didn't take too much damage from that dreaded ice cube. We also stumbled across another explorer note, except this one wasn't about a cool dino or Rockwell's twisted view on the world. It was one of the abstract and mythical ones, and quite frankly, I really didn't have a clue what they were talking about. We continued our journey to the northeast and traversed the gap between the mainland and the island at record speed, mainly because we were being chased by a meg the entire way. <laughs> Dickhead! A nice alpha kill on an explorer note boost. Very good, very nice. And a legendary drop. Thanks very much. It's not a pulsar though. What a light pulsar. What are we saying? What are we saying? Flippers and bullets and handcuffs that I don't need. What what was this cave? I feel like it was one with a big drop. So we need to be careful here. Oh, do I have lesser potions? I do have lesser potions. Fantastic. Yeah, I think there was a... Uh, it's, it's like that ramped one that's like ramped up and down. Is it at the back? Yes, yeah, at the back here. I remember now. Right, and then the cave. Here it is. Okay. Save the game. Be really careful here. Do not... Do not get cocky. More often than not, my deaths have been caused by jumps gone wrong rather than actual creatures, especially when ladders are concerned. So this cave was putting me on edge because there was the capability to die from fall damage. I was confident that our barry could take on any creature and at least stand a good chance. But gravity? That was a foe too powerful even for the likes of Dino the Dino Slayer. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Slow and steady. I've got to be really, really careful here. Oh, look. We've got some things there. Now, I do have grappling hooks, so... We should make use of them if needed. There's a, there's a trick that if... Or something that... If you're falling with a dino... And you jump off at the last minute, nobody takes damage or something... All right, this is this is just a simple jump. Do not overthink it. Fantastic. Super slow, super steady, super slow, super steady. Tuck in. Fantastic. Oh, uh, let's definitely get rid of that thing, shall we? Megalania. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh. Why didn't I bring a cryopod so I could grappling hook all the way up? Literally had that dilemma last... Last time. Do I be really, really, really sensible and go back out and get a cryopod so that... We know for sure we can get back up? Because I don't think I'll make that jump on a barry. Yeah. Sod it. I'm... L this is how safe I'm being. We're going back. <laughs> all the way back home. To get a feckin' cryopod to come back. I might lose the 700% shotgun as well. Like I might bring the 200% one. I don't think it's worth having me the 700% here. For the risk, you know what I mean? This 
is the arc mentality. Always expect the worst. This level of consciousness, this appreciation that you are but a breath away from a clusterfuck is what will keep me right in this game. Yes, it might take a bit more time than the average Joe, but it would keep me moving forward. Slowly, but extremely surely. With this attitude, it wasn't a case of if I would achieve things, it would be when I would achieve things. Oh, for fuck's sake, it was literally one jump. Oh. I need more meat. I don't have enough meat here to feckin' heal up. <sighs> Shit. Wait, I don't think dinos take full damage if you're not on them. So if I, I can't believe I just done that. I mean, that's not gonna kill me, but it will take a chunk off. So let's let's heal up fully. Let's heal up fully. I'll have to do. Right, so what's the play here then? I could turn around and get onto that ledge. Oh, there's an explorer out there. Right. Turn. And then we're going to try and jump onto that ledge, okay? Ready? Jump! Yes! Hit the wall. Give me that explorer note. Thanks very much much better until recently i believed the megalodon to be the greatest of the ocean predators then i discovered mosasaurus suspirus do you do see do you see one of them Not quite as fast but much larger and stronger the mosasaurus rules the darkest waters off the island oh. growing up to 15 meters long frank mosasaurus is this what you were talking about almost every other aquatic oh. as far mosasaurus is a deep sea marine lizard which spends all of its time far beneath the water's surface. It is without a doubt one of the most fearsome creatures of the island and can certainly be considered among the ocean's apex predators. Mosasaurus has proven to be an excellent tame for the most advanced tribes. Due to its sheer size and power, you will often find tribes with bases and defenses built upon a mosasaur's large platform saddle. Oh, Having one with you as an escort is I probably just, one of the best oceanic defenses available. I just ditched one of them, didn't I? Right, I think I'm just going to have to fall here. I don't think that there's a way... Unless I can get on them crystals. Right, I'm going to see if I can jump back up. Or I might fall. Either way... YOLO! We're good. We didn't take barely any damage then. We're good. Right. Just get rid of all of these. I got mega rabies again. There's another explorer note down here. Yeah, give me it. Give me it. Give me the note. Give me the note. Give me the note. There we go. Mesopithecus monkey is an omnivorous monkey species. Primarily omnivorous monkey? More like I'm never gonna get out of this cave because let me tell you, boys and girls, gravity isn't even the worst enemy in Ark. As I sit here telling you this story, and whilst you're hitting that subscribe button, it got me thinking: what is an Ark player's worst fear? Is it the bosses? Is it showers? Is it Palworld? No, it's jank. Wikipedia defines jank as game mechanics of unconventional or flawed design or implementation and the experiments of such mechanics as to ruin or disrupt play, break immersion, e.g. bugs and glitches. You can be going about your arc day, everything fine and dandy, and then boom, you've fallen through the ground. Getting the Barry back to the top of this cave was like a one-way ticket to Jankton aboard the Jankton Express. It was enough to make me want to punch my monitor, but I did manage to eventually get the Barry out after about a thousand attempts. This meant 
that we now had two of the three artifacts needed to face the Megapithecus, or so I thought. Keen viewers would have realized that the artifact that I got in the previous cave was not for the Megapithecus. Rookie mistake on my end. But anyway, we weren't worried about the monkey just yet, as we had the dragon to tend to, but it made sense to collect the artifacts while we looked for loot. Of course, our side quest would now lead us to the Cave of the Brute, the Ocean Cave. I thought I was done with its murky depths, but duty called. We swapped out our armor for scuba gear and headed back into the ocean. Okay, let's just do it. Speed is key. Speed is key. Save the game. Do not stop. Do not stop. Whereabouts was it again? Oh, I can't remember. It was down near the bottom. I think it was down near the bottom here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan. How deep was it again? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is this the entrance here? I don't like this. 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 Oh, yeah, we got one barry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Follow me. Follow me. It should be fine. I don't want to look behind me. Where do you, where do you go? Where do you go? Okay, no, we got vines there. It'd be a lot worse if there wasn't vines, right? Okay. We got one, we got one. Oh, it's dark. This is where the Barry gets stuck, no doubt. Yep, 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 look, look at him. Oh no, no, you good, you good, you good. It's so unnerving when there's nothing. Oh, relax them shoulders. Uh, a lot of people were saying they were a bit shocked that the underwater caves didn't have nearly as many enemies as apparently is what Ark Survival Evolved did. Because especially not, not this cave, the, the other one. Uh, people were saying that it's just fucking like rammed with like megs, alpha megs and all sorts of shit. But I think we've both been... Am I going the wrong way again? Um, I think we've both been pretty l uh, lucky with some of the caves. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Right, get your gnashes on him. Get attacking, get attacking, get attacking. Get attacking, please. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! The Burry died! No! Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we lost one of the Burries. This cave had proven dangerous enough to take the life of one of my Barrys. Looking back, this was a warning sign. A warning sign that I did not see nor notice. And I paid the price. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Oh, shit! 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 Oh, no! Disaster. If my Barney was on passive, it couldn't defend itself. And my gear was now subject to how quickly I could return to collect it. In my least favorite cave now lay my decomposing body, and it was up to me to get it back as quickly as possible. Oh no. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I... I... I don't know what to do. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 no. Do I even have another scuba tank? I do. 
uh, th 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 those, and then I've got flippers. Got got the flippers. I don't. Do I have another Barry? Anything? Oh shit! 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 Uh, a Sarko with the speed. Yes, we can just go Sarko with the speed. What's your health? Not great, but we'll get it up. Just to get the Barrys right. Oh, it's going to be slow as fuck on land though, isn't it? Maybe if I get a cryopod. G yeah, get a, get a cryopod, cryo him. Go to the edge, let's go. Come on. Oh, there's gotta be, I've got to have a spare one somewhere. Oh, wait. I could take t Captain Hook, couldn't I? What health are you? 19. Come on, let's go. I'm on him. I'm on him. Get everything dead. Get everything dead. Get everything dead. Everything needs to die. Fuck. That jellyfish needs to die. Kill the jellyfish. Is it dead? Okay. Okay. Right. Where's my shit? Did it sink? Like, where does it go? Oh, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Okay, am I safe to get off? I think so. Oh! Sweet Jesus. That's not fun. That was not fun. You follow me. Jesus. You're too heavy. If you were going to write a list of things that I didn't ever want to happen, number one would be pre-ordering Cyberpunk and Battlefield 2042, but a close second would have been that. Coming off any mount always leaves you feeling exposed, but deep in the caverns of the cave, they're like a lifeline. You hop off and you're on limited time. That was a reminder to never feel safe when you're not on the back of a dino. Now, luckily for us, Captain Hook had carried us back with speed and aggression, so we managed to get our loot back. We continued further into the cave, collecting the artifact and also taking the time to explore the land portions of the caves a little more and collected some explorer notes. This wasn't meant to be the hard part of today's adventure. This was just meant to be the mindless grind for better loot to help us with the boss. But we returned home feeling somewhat drained. That was a little bit stressful. Oh, that just went from zero to a hundred so quickly. All because I got off the dino. All right, come in here, Barney. That's... I don't know whether that's exactly what I needed before fighting this boss or everything that I didn't need because I'm really stressed now, but... Maybe it's maybe it's uh, keeping me on my toes a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh. Right, I want to make some more shotgun bullets. That's what I'm going to do. Now, it was time. The final preparations. We had fannied about in caves for long enough. It was time to take on the dragon. We spent the next hour or so getting everything ready for the battle. We had already cried our dinos from our previous boss fight. They had worked well for us in the past, so we figured if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 18 T-Rexes, one pig and one UT. These were once again to be my warriors. We would sit back astride the UT and roar our lungs out for the 18 Rexes in front. These would be on attack my target. I had no idea what the dragon would throw at us, but I figured that 18 Rexes would at least do some considerable damage. We hadn't lost a single dino to a boss fight, and I was hoping to keep it that way. Pumba, our healing pig, was to be the very back on passive and would be there for if shit hit the fan. 
We crafted more bullets and collected the best of our armor. But before we set out for real, we decided to visit the obelisk to triple check what artifacts we would need. <laughs> okay. What do we need? Oh my god, it is four. So this is the two snow caves, the Skylord and the Strong. Immune, which is the one that's right next to us. And Cunning is the other ocean one. Oh, for the love of God, if I don't get a trophy here, that's going to set me back hours and hours and hours. I'm taking a picture so I know exactly which ones to bring with me. Oh, I feel sick. Right, let's go back and get them. I get some stand back. Remember, at this point, I thought that me not getting a boss trophy and some element was down to a glitch. I had googled it after my previous encounter and found solace in the fact that others had experienced the same thing. However, all it was in my case was not checking the supply drop at the location that you spawn in at. All right. All right. Please don't glitch. Just don't be arc. Right, I think this is one that we need. Artifact of the Cunning. Artifact of the Cunning. You're coming with me. You're cunning with me. Artifact of the Sky Lord. Artifact. I suppose that's really easy to get that one, actually. It's, so it's the two caves. It's the Cunning and the, and the Strong, which will be the challenge. Speaking of... Artifact of the strong. And then last but not least, well, probably least because it's easy to get immune, which is not that one. Immune. Okay. Artifact of the Sky Lord. Artifact of the Sky Lord. Artifact of the Cunning. Artifact of the Cunning. Artifact of. What? Where's strong? What are you doing? Strong. Jesus. See, that's why I count. Strong. Sky Lord. Immune. Cunning. Strong. Sky Lord. Immune. This time. This time. I've got my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 Rexes, my one healing pig, and then we have Frank right there. I've got my shotgun, I've got a bunch of ammo, I've got a crossbow with grappling hooks, I've got healing potions, I've got food, I've got water, I've got that, I've got th th this, I've got th lesser potions, I've got Kalian soup, I've got fryer curry, I, if there's anything else that I need, I don't know about it. It's time. Come on, this is it, this is it, come on. Are we ready? Are we ready? Three. Two, one, I'm going to puke. I am going to puke. Come on. Come on. Come on. It could be instant. It could be instant. Get in. Get on the UT. Everybody follow all. And then either attack my target or aggressive. Attack my target if there's only one aggressive if there's multiple. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Shit, it's hot. Kalian soup. Okay, right. Everybody, follow me, and then let's do attack my target. Oh, it's like an arena. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? 
Oh! Oh, it is flying! It is flying! Shit! Oh, fuck me sideways. Oh my god, look at the size of it! It's absolutely massive! How do I get it down? Do I shoot? Shit! Oh god! Am I on? No, I'm on the wrong one. I'm on the wrong thing. Oh shit! 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 They've all gone in! Why is it, why is it over there? Oh fuck. No, 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 no! The Rex is! Oh no! Oh, please, please. Oh, they're, they're all setting on fire. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Just please, just keep shooting. Just keep, keep attacking, keep attacking. Oh my god. I hope that lava doesn't hurt it. It hurt them. Come on, come on! Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Please, 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 please. I don't know why I'm compelled. I'm going to save the game. Come on. Come on. We're nearly halfway. Come on! Oh, shit. It does do damage. Oh, we're taking casualties. We're taking casualties. If ones go in, they're all about to go. No, 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 no
Is that where it was? Oh my god, did I need to go back to like the, the spawn bit? And that's where it was. 80! 80 elements! We got enough for the tech replicator! Oh, the rush. We lost so many Rexes. Oh my God. I I, I feel fizz. <coughs> I need some water. I feel, oh my days. Shit. That was ridiculous. If I hadn't have brought my shotgun then. If I didn't have that shotgun. Oh. Wait, you didn't make it. You didn't come in. Now, I'd just like to point out a couple of things, okay? Things that whilst you've been watching this seem obvious to you and to me right now. But for me back then, well, what you have to understand is I don't play video games. I live them. I am balls deep in them. I was fighting that dragon for real, which meant all composure was out of the window and my blinkers were on. Point in case, me screaming, where's the pig? Where's the pig? When in fact, it was right in front of me. Or the fact that instead of using my UT rot or having it on auto courage, I was practically using the UT as a stool while I blasted from a distance. And finally, that big beam of green light indicating the supply drop that I didn't see for like 45 seconds. Yeah, but listen, the important thing was that we got it done. That was the definition of squeaky bum time. If I hadn't have got that shotgun... But we did save the game and then now, and I do feel slightly better knowing how I messed up with the Megapithecus one. I feel like with the Broodmother though, it was just there. But still, here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. I can't believe how close that was. We were down to the last Rex. I'd be at three of them, four of them, whatever it was, didn't get in with us. Save the game. But at least now we can... Oh, shit. With the Mega Picket... Mega Picket Pithecus one, though. We're going to have to graph to get more Rexes. I should have done that one straight away, to be honest. Because I can't do it with just the amount that we've got now. So I'm going to have to graft and grind and get them all done and do it all again. But anyway, what I want to do... Oh, wait. Wait. There's two things that I want to do before we go. We need to uh, add to our collection. How cool is this one going to look? Monkey one's my favorite so far. Oh, <laughs> do you like the dragon one? Oh, that bugs me that it's slightly lower. But it is what it is. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, that's a picture right there. Right, I am going to screenshot that. Um, but there is one more thing that I want to give a go. Uh, we have ourselves 80 elements. So it wasn't just... I do wonder if the Megapithecus is going to be different than the 20. Because we did have the 20... Um, uh, 20 before that. Um, I've just got a quick question, actually. How the hell do we actually do the... The tech replicator. Let me just turn that off. Oh, didn't mean to. Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. Right. Uh, is it here? Do I perhaps need to un unlock it? Let me ha let's have a look. Uh, so we've gone to the engrams. Let's just pull that all the way down to the bottom. Oh! <gasps> Gauntlets and leggings, a megalodon saddle. Oh, oh, I wish. What the fuck? 
allows instantaneous transversal between teleporters. Oh, this tech generator. Right, what we want to make this. Can be crafted at the... How much do these cost to learn? So, oh wait. See, to unlock the rest of them, do you have to beat the bosses on a different difficulty? That Megalodon saddle's awesome, but 55 elements. So if I wanted the gauntlets and the leggings, I'm going to need 40... I guess it depends on how many we get from the, um, when we have to do the monkey man again. Right, where is the tech replicator? Wait, I'm confused. Wait a minute, do you need elements to unlock these? Can be crafted at supply crate fabricator. It's not letting me do it at all. I'm, I'm very, very, very confused. Is my, is it glitched? Right, and I still need 150 black pearls though. 5,000 metal ingots. There's a, there's a lot of work to be done there. Uh, this has been the most roller coaster of emotions. The dismay that I felt. The, 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 what's the word? The, the victory that I felt when we killed the dragon. I was here. Found that we couldn't find the, the trophy. I was down here. Devastated. See the supply drop with everything in it? Absolutely elated. It's a similar elation to when somebody subscribes. If you're watching the outro of this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. You have 45 other episodes of ARK and so many other games if you want to go and watch them. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe. If you are subscribed and you haven't hit the like button and you did like this video at any point, oh, what the fuck are you waiting for? But troops... Next. Are we taking on a tech cave next episode? We might be. I don't know. But either way, it's going to be epic. Troops, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.